guys, welcome back. Today's video was not a picking video, but I thought I'd do a, a quick little sort of uh, handy tip kind of video. Um, and it's uh, regarding keys. Um, I know I carry a lot of keys, and uh, I'm sure that most of you guys also carry s at least some keys. Um, I mean, I carry a big bunch of keys, and I do use them all, but... Um, there are some keys that are just more useful than others, and um, I, I would rather have a way to get to them quicker than than other keys, but still have them in the same bundle, if you get what I mean. Um, and so I was looking online for some solutions, and I discovered that uh, you can buy pretty much a sort of jackknife thing for your keys, um, which literally consists of two metal plates and a sort of bolt to join them together. Uh, or you can get some leather uh, ones which look quite nice but just didn't seem to uh, meet my kind of requirements. And then I decided, well I found uh, actually an old box of Meccano and I thought, well maybe I could do something with this. And what Meccano is, it's literally just uh, plates, you can get brackets, you can get all sorts of cool little bits, uh, bolts and nuts and washers and things that you can assemble uh, and you can make models and things. And so I thought, well, maybe I can put this to some good use. So today I'm going to teach you how to make one of these little uh, jackknife tools if you have some uh, spare mechano lying around. And these uh, jackknives that you can buy online usually cost a little bit um, too much, in my opinion, for, for a couple of metal plates is really what they are. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to assemble one. Uh, using little bits of Meccano. You can also use um, um, r repairing plates, the, the kind of uh, brackets and plates that you get for um, repairing odd things. I've uh, forgotten the name of them, but uh, anyway. Um, so what we're going to need are a couple of plates like these. Uh, if you have six pin keys or longer keys, then you'll want to use longer brackets. and. Uh, also, if you want to use, if you uh, today I'm only going to put two keys in this thing, but uh, if you want to put more keys in, then you want to use longer bolts. So here are the bolts that I've got. I've got a few nuts and some washers and some spacers as well. So literally, all we do, we stick the bolts through the back, and we can stack our keys. And we can do this any way we want. I mean, I've been experimenting with this myself. Um, and there's a lot of different ways you can stagger them. Let me just give you a close-up of what I'm doing here. You can stagger them so you can have them like this. Whoops. Uh, you get the general idea. Stagger them like that. Uh, but today I'm just going to go really simple. Uh, I'm going to put a washer on here. Literally just that. Um, and use this little rubber thing. Or actually I'm going to use... Now let's go for the rubber, uh, the rubber thing, and uh, just squeeze that on there. And there are loads and loads of that, that's the thing I like about these. There's loads and loads of different things you can do. Um, you can customize this in any way that you want. But today I'm just giving you a simple example, and we'll put this over the top. And you don't just get red mechano, you get actually loads and loads of colors uh, you get uh, another one that I've got is green and um, I think a few blue ones as well so we can tighten these up you can use a tool if you like but uh, there we go and that's it we've literally just made ourselves a folding jackknife key holder I guess and so this is what I what it looks like really nice and simple and it holds our keys together and we can hang this on our key ring. If you like, you can swap out a washer for one of these. Just a little uh, um, plate with two holes in it. And you can put that on there and have your have this dangling from your keychain. It just makes it so much easier to find those more important keys when you need them. And it's easy just to fold them out. Um, if you're going to be using this as a, a solution, uh, then I recommend putting some Loctite or using one of those locking nuts. Um, instead of these normal ones in case it works loose. Uh, so that's that, but I've been experimenting with the idea a bit and uh, I came up with another one here. More of a kind of novelty one. As you can see it's sort of banana shaped. I use a bent 
um, curved plate here. And this one also has a bracket so you can hang it off your keychain like this. And I think it looks really cool. Just fold it out, same style. Here's a view of it. Very, very simple. And let me just demonstrate that it does work. You just put it in your lock. That works. Nice. There's another lock as well. So it's quite a cool idea. I think it looks really, really nice actually. Um, so just to show you that you can experiment with the idea and you can create some really quite cool and uh, yeah, awesome looking uh, little gadgets for your keychain. You can also put other things on there like um, SIM card removal tools and all sorts. So uh, if you've got an old box of Meccano or something lying around then uh, I, I recommend checking out this little idea and experimenting a bit. Uh, so there's my, my little tip for the week. Just a short little video and uh, I hope somebody finds it useful. Thanks very much for watching and as always I'll see you in my next video.